After a long journey from the United States by rail, boat and rail again, these armoured fighting vehicles are here at a range in Poland to recite their weapons before heading off on their respective deployments across Europe. Deployed from Fort Carson, Colorado, the 3,500 soldiers and 2,000 vehicles of the 3rd Armoured Brigade Combat Team make up Operation Atlantic Resolve 2017, which was initiated in 2014 as a response to Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea. This is not the first time tanks and Bradleys have been in Europe. However, uh, it's probably the first time in total uh, across the past three decades that we've moved all of our organic equipment. Uh, we're absolutely thrilled to be here. We're absolutely thrilled to be working uh, with our partners that we've shared uh, both blood and treasure with in Iraq and Afghanistan. And so it's a pleasure to be here at their home, at their residence, uh, and, and experiencing their culture. The United States has a long history of helping Europe. Just a few hundred metres from the tank range here in the Polish town of Zagan, you can find the remains of Stalaglov III, a prisoner of war camp which held over 7,000 American officers captured during the Second World War. It's kind of historical moment for, for this land, for this, for this small town, maybe for, for even the whole Poland. The presence of the US, US troops, we were occupied by the, by the Soviets in, in, during the, the communism in Poland. We saw many, many things. Now it looks like uh, finally somebody who is our buddy or, or our friend came here to stay with us. For the town of Zagan, like many other towns across Poland and Eastern Europe, the US presence has been warmly welcomed. I love it for a lot of things, and in Poland, the Americans were, I have hope that they will be seen as a people who want to protect many values and we as Poles feel that these values are the most important for them, the same as for us. Atlantic Resolve goes beyond simply putting boots on the ground, however. The U.S. is also committed to substantial infrastructure investment. We believe that with Atlantic Resolve and the U.S. investment, multiple billions of dollars over the next three or four years, the exercises, the pre-positioning of the equipment, the things that we're doing for infrastructure and the forces that we're bringing over, I think that will send a very sufficient and capable deterrent message. While some units will remain in Poland, others will be heading out to Romania and the Baltics to provide a strong deterrence to any potential aggressor. For NATO Channel in Zagan, Poland, this is Lawrence Cameron.